Brent Rooker is an all-star. Hey, Brent, thanks for the visit. Man, Kotze was really meandering there. I didn't know where that was going to land. Did you, did you have a sense he was talking about you or not? Uh, I didn't. I mean, I kind of knew where the message was going. I didn't know um, necessarily it was specifically about me, but uh, it was a pretty cool message nonetheless. And, uh, you know, hearing him say my name at the end of it was pretty special. That's great. Who were the first people that you spoke to after you got the news? Uh, family members, friends, teammates, coaches. Tell us about those first hours. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say Cots made the announcement, and after that, it's a bunch of congratulations from teammates, um, you know, who are also some of your closest friends. So that's pretty cool. And then from there, um, you know, make the phone calls home to to my wife and to my parents and let them know the news. And everybody was super excited, obviously. And uh, you know, those 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 few minutes after finding out were pretty cool. You know, you're in the middle of the season. Obviously, you're getting ready to go to Seattle next week as an All Star. Do do you have the time and the schedule? to kind of take stock in your own journey. I mean, yours is a great story, man. Drafted by the Twins. You played with a couple of different organizations before, you know, getting to Oakland and becoming an all-star. Do you have a, a moment to, to reflect on that, or is the, the schedule preventative of that? Yeah, I mean, I've tried to a little bit. Um, you know, it is it is tough just because, you know, like, like you said, the day-to-day -day schedule here moves so quickly, and we're just going from one city to another and trying to, trying to adjust and trying to compete on a nightly basis. But... Um, it's been a cool journey. It's been one that I'm very thankful for every step of the way. I'm thankful for all four teams that I've been with, all four organizations that um, you know, have given me opportunities at one time or another and ultimately landing here in Oakland, which, which wind up to be a great fit and a great spot for me to be and, and just kind of win an opportunity at a spring training and then take advantage of some of those at-bats. Um, you know, it's been a good season so far. I'm just looking to keep building on it. I want to go back to April, uh, the end of April, when you won AL Player of the Week honors and involved in that really great week you had was a homer against Shohei Otani. After which you said you want to see if he will sign a photograph of you taking him deep. And, and you said it in such a great diplomatic way. Did you ever get that photo signed by Shohei? No, I haven't yet. I'm working on it. So I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping in Seattle will be the time I get to do that. I just I think it's just such a I mean, one, it's just it's like a, it's a cool picture. And then two, obviously, to be able to um, you know, he's such a he's such a great player and what he's doing for the game right now is unbelievable. So I think it's be a fun keepsake to kind of have, um, you know, for the rest of my career and then forever after that. Oh, I think getting him to do it at the All Star game is a perfect strategy, too. Right. He's a little disarmed. He's not in the throws of a, of a head to head. And I love yeah, what you said right, about him. Right. I, your, your quote was great, Brent. You said if there's anybody doubting that he is the best baseball player of all time, I don't really know why they are. I'm with you, dude. Like, look, there have been great players in this sport, not to take anybody away from the old timers. Nobody's done what this guy does. As an opponent, uh, is that is that discussed in a clubhouse, say he's on the mound or he's hitting a home run? Do you guys talk about that stuff? Uh, I mean, I think when you're, um, you know, specifically when you're playing against him and it's compete mode, um, the mindset gets a little bit different. You're just trying to figure out how we beat this guy like you are any other pitcher, but um, you know, those those weeks when you're not having to compete against them, you're just kind of watching the highlights on MLB Network or, or wherever it is. There's there's definitely a sense of awe, um, you know, amongst his peers and amongst other players around the league, just kind of watching him do what he does on a daily basis. We've got uh, up on the screen some of your biographical info. Uh, you're one of a ton, seems like a ton of Mississippi State Bulldogs in the league right now. You won a triple crown in the SEC back in 2017. You had a great career there. Uh, do you keep in touch with all the other Mississippi State guys that are in the league? Because it, it feels like there are a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, it's a very close knit family, a very tight knit group. Whether you know whether we were there at the same time and played together or not, um, you know everybody pretty pretty much stays in touch um, on a pretty regular basis. Uh, I'm looking at the list right now. You guys are missing one. Who? Um, Jordan Westberg. Debuted earlier this week, I think, with with Baltimore. You're right. I want to give him a shout out. I don't, I don't want him to be left out there because uh, he was, I guess, the 2020 draft, and he's off to a great start to his career in Baltimore. So I want to make sure he gets a shout out there as well on that list. But yeah, a lot of good players there, um, and guys that I'm good friends with every single one of them. So it's a pretty it's a pretty special group to be a part of. Yeah, we miss Buck Showalter too. We give you a gig as a quality control specialist here at the network, just making sure <laughs> so, our graphics. I noticed are it right. earlier. I noticed it when it was up there earlier. I just wanted to make sure I give uh, give Westy a shout out there. Hey, give us a little bit, Brent, on, on what's going on in the A's clubhouse. It, you know, wins have not been plentiful. It's not a secret. You guys are battling every day. However, we love your manager. Mark Kotze is one of the best dudes and, and one of the best baseball people in the sport. You've won two in a row, looking to finish off a sweep. Take us into the room. What's being discussed there in the clubhouse? 
Yeah, um, every day we're showing up as individuals and as a team just trying to get better. And I think the last month of our play has reflected that. Um, there have been a lot, a lot of good times in the last, you know, four to six weeks where we've been playing better. We've been reeling off some wins, um, you know, a few, you know, three, four in a row. We got the seven there at one point, I think. So um, the vibes have improved, you know, obviously since April and May was a little bit of a tough stretch for us. But, but you know, since the beginning of June into July, I feel like we've been playing pretty well. We're making strides as a team. Um, guys are in there working and getting better. So it's a fun place to be right now. 12 runs yesterday coming off uh, riding high there. What's what's your favorite park to play in so far? Where do you like to swing the bat the most? Man, I hit well in Baltimore this year. I think that's one that's up there. Um, you know, I've, I've played really well there. I like going to Cleveland. I've been there probably either. I've probably been to Cleveland or Detroit most of my career. I like both those parks. Um, but I would say right now Baltimore is probably my favorite place to hit. Got it. Hey, Brent, uh, thanks for the visit, man. Congratulations on the All-Star selection. Well-deserved. Enjoy yourself next week, as I know you will. And uh, we'll check in with you again down the road. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you having me.